Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. This is the Big Stage Karaoke, the after show podcast. We have Anthony Santagate and DJ Tim. And I'm Jay Santagate, your producer. Um, we're going to go ahead and start by talking about last night, Big Stage Karaoke. And we, wow. have, a new, we have a new platinum ticket winner. And That's all I can say. It was pretty crazy last night. Anthony's wowing for a good reason. It well, was, uh, I'm wowing because I, I think I was sleeping most of the time. Hmm. But, but when I found out what happened, I saw some videos. I was like, you guys might need a leash. Every, everybody had their happy face on. They had their extreme Are happy face Are you kidding me? On. I was looking at the faces in the crowd, and they were all, like, mesmerized. Yes. Whatever the hell was happening, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, they were on it. They loved it. Uh, we had 35 golden ticket winners show up last night wanting to perform, and they were, they were like, rabid wanting to perform. This is the, really cool. The crowd responded. It was great. Hey. I know we say it every week, but last night was... I mean, I just want to say you two did a great job with this. Thanks. I mean, I let you guys Thank have the reins. Thank you so much. And you, did a, you did really did a good job. I I'm appreciate just, that. Just want to Thank you, you know. so much, Anthony. Well, you get be, we couldn't it, have it's done nice it when you get you behind though. something. I understand that, but still. It works out. I mean, I'll take all the credit, but I give credit where credit is due. I know what you, and, I know what you like. I know what you got you going because people are trying to copy us. Well, there's a lot of people trying to copy, but you can't yeah. copy what we're doing right now. We no have one's trying no. to copy us. There's, it's impossible. I think we have more than $100,000 invested in what we're doing altogether. Okay. Just in the production of what we're doing. Yeah. That's a lot of money. I mean, why would you want to spend that kind of money on what we're doing unless... But 16 weeks later, what do you think? Do you think it was worth it? Well, let's see. It's not over yet. Yeah. No, I mean, we're still going. Chanel's still coming. Chanel West Coast is coming on June 29th. Yeah. And she's going to be judging all the platinum ticket winners, which will be a few more than eight, probably 12 or 15, something like that. Speaking of t platinum ticket winner, we have a new platinum ticket winner last night. His name is Chris. Yeah. Um, he's right here. Congratulations, Chris. If you, if you go ahead and look right here, here he is. Yeah, he's awesome. He was our yeah. first singer, too. It's hard to get in there when you're the first singer and yeah. have the, the he judges was that good. remember you. He the was entire there. night. Listen, now I'm I'm upset because I'm looking at the TV behind us and I don't I don't see enough of Tim Parker. You should slide over this way. Oh, okay. You want to get closer? Yeah. You know, I really should have squared up the camera, but I think it's more about I think the the content on this is more about what we say. Oh my land! Here you know, go. but now Go back. let's see. Yeah, look Atlanta. at you guys. Is that, they, is that yeah, better? That's much better. Actually, that's a movement. All right. He had to be closer because we really did. We went through the audio path yeah, today and made so sure Chris, everything was great. Chris was great. How many? We got so many platinum tickets now. Is it six? But it's, no, five. And now we have three more. For eight. Yeah, eight. So we have three more platinum ticket winners coming up in the next three weeks. I just want to say, Anthony, and, on uh, Saturday, me and the famous Jackie, Jackie Lee. Lee will be here judging the contest. Yes. On a Saturday night, oh, and boy. you're gonna make somebody's dream come true. Jackie Lee reminds yeah. me of like Loretta Lynn on in Nashville on Broadway. I mean, she's it's Jackie a, Lee it's is Jamie Wynette had a ten, baby yeah. with. Sure. It sounds like you're still riding high up the big Parton. crowd we just played for downstairs. No, I always you say this. Jackie I just think Lee. Jackie Lee. I told her a million She's times. She, she was is, great, but today was special. She is the country star of. Of this place today, she did Stevie Nicks like Stevie Nicks doesn't do Stevie Nicks. Yeah, we sounded great. Quite amazing. I just want to thank you guys because well, you guys you. are good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. You too. You were ripping it today. Why you were right on. So you nice? were on top of those. Why is he being so nice? I don't know. It's right before Bike Week, dude. I've been snorting yeah, pop tarts, and I just can't. <laughs> Just a crust, because you can't get too much sugar up in your Don't try this at home, people. Do not try this at home. We do not recommend snoring. Yeah, I freaking love pop tarts in the in the toaster oven. Not for too long. Not until they get too brown. Tim, I, Tim, I may have an idea why he's so happy because we are on full-on bike week readiness right now. Bike and week. He is one nothing can stop him. Well, I'd like to talk to you guys about opening up the new bar next door called The Fancy. That's amazing. That's what's on in my list That's right what here. we've been working on. For, I've seen it personally. We've it's been, amazing. We've been working on it for a long it time. So when does the smoking good. start? When does the meat smoking well, start? Well, I think the smoking starts on Tuesday and will be open on Wednesday. So. Ooh. I want to smoke some. It's hump day. We got Dave Conti. Dave Conti on the uh, smoker. Yeah, he is the... 
kitchen manager at that place. Nice. And we, we spent a lot of money on a smoker. It looks like a nice smoker. I, I think, it's I think everyone's going to enjoy it. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's, everything's going to come out the same every time. And that's very important when you're in the restaurant important. business. Everything Especially has to be the barbecue, because I want it the same experience every time. I can smoke time. meat right from here. I don't know about that. You can certainly listen to what meat smoking looks like. I've heard about your meat. About okay, so um, we don't, have... Don't go there. We have the fancy opening, and we think Monday or Tuesday it's going to happen. I'm really excited about this. It's been months. So um, it, Monday, Tuesday, and then Friday is motorcycle week, so we have three yeah. days to get ready. Right. And get every, all the bugs out of the system by Can I be Friday. your first customer? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I really want Mike Valvini to be the first customer. Why Milk Valvini? Uh, Mike Valvini owned the name Nothing Fancy. And he actually just gave it to me. Really? Because I called the place the fancy. Because okay. everyone would say, hey, where are you going tonight? To, to the fancy. Yeah. And instead of saying nothing fancy, they would just say, I'm going to the fancy. To the fancy. So I just fun? figured when I call it the fancy, unfortunately, there's like, I think there's like 17 Mexican restaurants around here. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. So we went with the barbecue. Nice. Awesome. Can I be customer number two? Yes. Mike Valvini's number one, you're you number two. You heard it, number two. But I think that's cool, Mike Valvini. That's cool. He did, he did, a, he did a wonderful thing. I love him. I love his wife. Don't be late. I love his wife, Trish. And uh, I love those guys a lot. And I'm just hoping everything yeah. goes well for all of us. I'm sure. We love everybody. So all bike week, um, we're going to be open at 7 a.m. for breakfast at Tower Hill Tavern downstairs. We have Miss Patty here. Miss taking Patty. care of all yeah. your buffet needs. Oh, that's right. Buffet breakfast. I love the buffet. Buffet breakfast. Pancakes, all you can eat. Sausage, sausage, bacon. Sausage, bacon. Scramble little eggs. quishas. Are they going to have Those little, little quishas? Toast toast every things. day. Fresh water. Toast. You get French water. toast sticks. Yes. You get a little coffee. Yeah. yeah coffee is If you want to buy juice and booze, you've got to go to the bar. So it's a little extra, but. The coffee here is actually pretty good. In the morning, I've got to uh, say. Bloody oh, Mary's. Any, anything you want, really. Yeah, most of Bloody Mary's in the morning. We have uh, some of the best. What a great deal. We I mean, have some of the best rally bartenders coming here. It's going to be yeah. amazing. We I have heard four, like, like 14, 14 rally bartenders coming yeah. to help us out for our bike week endeavor. Tomorrow, tomorrow we get the, the power turned on by the pool that was on its own separate. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Its own separate uh, meter. But I'm not going to tell you where it is. We've oh, we, we got a house with all the pool and all the, all the rally girls will stay in there. Yeah, we need to get the pool open. If we don't get the pool open, then there's no pools with rally girls. It'll be open. Oh, okay. I'm, a, I, I'm a pool boy. Except the only problem is we're going to have to boil the water because these are all girls from like Florida and California. Oh, pool And boy. we're in New Hampshire, and if we fill it with, with cold water, they're never going to go in there. What's cool is we get to go in the pool, and it's going to be nice. Yeah, it will be nice. It's cool yeah. in the pool. Don't. All right, so um, next we have yeah, blue. Tuesday of Bike Week. We're going to have the hill climb, and at a surprising time, 1 p.m., Hey, so all, all the time that I've been here, it's been at 10, do breakfast, and then the... So we're going to have to figure out... This is what out. I heard. Wait, wait, so wait, what wait. I heard is they're coming early to get to test, test all the bikes. So they'll be here at 11 o'clock checking out the, the course and the bikes and all so that stuff. So there'll be something to So there, something there'll be to something see. to watch for sure. We have breakfast, okay. we have booze, we have rally girls. Breakfast, booze, bikes, It's going to be babes. great. Yeah. Last year we had about a thousand people watching. I think this is going to be a couple thousand people. Yeah, we've been marketing this a lot. And we're talking, we're talking months. right in the center of Where's Beach right. Motorcycle Week. You can't, you can't go wrong. Some Are great you going to try the one wheel thing again? No, uh, no. If Jay has that clip, he might show it to you. I, put I, it just, up. I decided to oh to ride my one wheel up up the hill, the hill climb, and. Yes. The the, uh, the commentator and the, the people who put it on weren't real happy because I just broke in. Here it is. There you and go. You're going oh, up. God, yeah. watch this. Yeah. And then you speed watch up, it. and then you, Here he goes. Like, oh, you lean forward. There oh, it goes. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh, God. But you passed that 1909 oh, Harley. It was really good. I, I broke. <laughs> I broke. I really broke two ribs. I couldn't breathe or sleep for about six weeks. By a, by a one wheel, you could race a 1909 Harley. I still have it. Win. I'm going to try it again, but I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. At least put your helmet on this time. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the people are going to, I don't think people are going to drive Tesla's, Tesla's through uh, Colorado mountains in the we winter should talk anymore. About, we should talk about my latest injury, but <laughs> no, I mean, no, why no. should we talk about that? You, 
What's your latest injury? Well, it was about five months ago at the Bruins game. Oh, God. I was coming Is this back. still your shoulder? Yeah. The oh, escalator cool. thing? Oh, yeah. Man. You were trying to run this up? Yeah. I tw- my rotator cuff was done. Wasn't it going down? Like, I used to throw so good I could be such a baseball player. And now I throw like a girl. I don't know what to tell you. Not saying some girls really, like, I played softball against some women, and they're just amazing. But I lost all, everything in this arm. Speaking of um, women uh, sports, you didn't all that Indiana play last night? Yeah, yeah the did, Viva. And uh, did, Caitlin Clark was violently fouled, but did she she's win? getting used to it. And did they she, won 71 to 70. Uh, it's close. Against a, against there, a must tough been, team. <clears throat> there must have been some controversy if it was so close. Well, there's always going to be controversy when Caitlin Clark is playing. Yeah. It's all, well, I'm glad she won. on the money. Did always play? on the money. She's playing against that girl that uh, they played. Well, uh, first, in personally, college. I think she's related to Clark Kent. Yeah, she's definitely. They a have super, the same name, woman. Clark Kent and Clayton Clark. Yeah. So we oh. have a band lineup for the. Oh God! Yeah, I do. One hundred and one bike week. Yeah. Do we have more than one hundred and one bands playing? Or it should be one hundred and one. It's not says more. We put fifty on the thing, but there's actually one hundred and twenty-five. Yeah, slots. but some of them are playing multiple. Bands. Some are playing multiple, multiple times. Yeah. So it's one hundred and one bands. But we should have said one hundred and one. Well, I just really want to get the count of how many bands are playing right. week once. But, well, I'm going to tell you, you hired one hundred and one bands to play one hundred and one oh, first bike week. Who's paying for this? Because that sounds good. It's oh, only one hundred and one dollars. <laughs> Relax. I like that. He came up with it. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, Tim, you're becoming a genius here. Okay, so Friday, June, Friday, June 7th, we have starting off at 5.30. You know, you start Bike Week one day early, right here, the heartbeat of oh my God. Bike Week. Yeah, What's cool day. about Friday it's is even, week, even yeah. we're going to start a little earlier Happy because, Father's day. listen to me. On the 6th, no, you guys got to Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let, me put, some, let me put some pimp in there. Listen, okay. Thursday night. Ugh. All, all the vendors are all already up here. They got their tent set up. They're all looking for something to do, okay? Thursday night, we have a couple of things going on. We have karaoke Thursday night, and we also have the Boston Celtics are playing the first game of the championship yeah, playoffs. So right Thursday night's going to kick off Motorcycle Week Celtics. at the Tower Hill Tavern. Go Celtics. We're setting up a video screen out back. Oh my God, I wish case. it was done already. Just in case, well, it's going to be done before Thursday. Okay. It's okay. And what's going to happen is we're going to fill that place up, I think. All right, cool. And it may be that time. I love it. So starting off on the 7th at 5.30, Frankie Boy and the Blues Express. I love Downstairs them. Tavern oh, oh, oh. Stage. Frankie Boy and Mickey McGuire. Yeah, started off right. That's and their fabulous show. drummer. Great band. Frankie Ooh, Boy. And then Harrison Fody. What a band this is. You're going to enjoy this band. Now, we get to, we get to play later outside Ooh. an extra hour from Ooh. 10 to oh, 11. Yes. So 11 is pumpkin time outside. Dance till 11. Now, 7 p.m., who's going to take us to the 11 o'clock hour, hour, we hope, is going to be The Secret at the Rec Yard stage. I'm just going to say I haven't heard them yet. No. They were pretty good. What's the name? The Secret. They're, it's like 90. Sh- you just whisper it in my ear. It's a secret. It's a secret. The Secret. Okay, so then 7.30, Sucker Punch stage right behind us here, right out here. Fifth Freedom to start. The oh, these guys are really good. Oh, man, it's going to be amazing. Fifth and then, Freedom. Uh, Fifth Freedom. Nine. All the bands we have here, Fifth Freedom reminds me of, of a couple bands. And one, one primarily they, they remind me of is the uh, Black Crows. These guys just have so much soul. Charisma. Oh, soul, my yeah. God. Yeah. What do you think? So since I have, since, well, you kept me to. Keep it out of my mouth. Because sometimes I like, oh. <laughs> oh, don't. You know, now listen. No. <laughs> no, you listen. Now that you guys gave me. Here we go. I can't believe you would have a microphone stand. I didn't want to give you now a microphone Now that you guys stand. gave me a microphone stand, I don't know what to do with my hand. Oh, God. Okay, so 9 p.m. Friday, we are going to go with uh, Big Stage Karaoke upstairs. Ooh. Jay and Tim, Tower Hill. Big stage karaoke. Are you serious? And then I got to break down the whole stage for the band the next morning? Yeah, the band the next morning. We'll yeah. do it at night so you don't have to do anything in the morning. That's ridiculous. What do you think I am, Superman? And then downstairs at 10 p.m., Mixtape Heroes. And you guys are napping. Downstairs. No. 
and Big House will be open for DJ Dance Party. That's Friday, just, just to warm things up. And then you wouldn't believe the amount of bands right. we have. The bands start every day at 12 p.m. So noon, we're going to... Hey, what? We're one of the bands. Yeah. We are. We're fighting Friday. Jackie Lee <laughs> and the Righteous People. Yeah, I don't see where we're playing, actually. It's not until the following the week, love it looks like. Jackie Lee and the Lovemakers, see us after the show. Yeah, we are playing, um, I'm still looking. I don't see it. I don't see her. I'm going to pull up the schedule. I'm going to start ripping through these. Either right. way, schedule. Watch this. we'll take some time out and we'll play if you I guys want to come in. We just finished playing to a record crowd. You should have seen all those people. Yeah, send me a link. I mean, I get excited. I felt like I felt like we all played really well for what okay. we were just doing. On there right now. Tower Jackie Hill, Lee and Tower the Love Tower Makers were Facebook on page. point tonight. What happened to our special guest? Do I have to go find him? No, no, she'll be here soon. You sure? Yeah. I need a minute. She's it's a surprise. Yeah, we have Jackie GM on Sunday. That's all I have on the schedule. I think we got booted from we were supposed to play on stage at the at the big house and they stopped the two o'clock shows. You guys talk about the sponsors a little bit. I have to I have to go for a minute. Yeah. I'll be right back. That's fine. I actually have, have an entire list of sponsors. Do we have the yeah, new, new sponsors? Yep. Oh my god. I have These all guys the have been taking care of us so listen. much. And we have been promoting so on all of our social media and all of our screens up at the top wow. of Tower Hill Tavern. We, st we stay around, and I'll list them all off right now because I am actually prepared, and I have a okay, list of our here sponsors. We go. So here we go. Pupper City, these are our, uh, these are our bronze sponsors. Well, you so, told me Pupper City told us to stop saying their name because too many people went to their place. They did. Well, they, they said, just wanted no, to stop, but we're to, not stopping. They didn't so. want us to funnel as many We're leads funneling in. more people. You're going to have to get a bigger place. So, two, we have Rasso Electric. We have Rasso Electric. We have Listen, Pro 603 wait, Services. Those two guys right there. Rasso Electric, Pro 603. Yeah. They, they help with the fancy. Oh, my God. A lot. No, they've helped with this whole, well, my whole organization. Yeah. You need these people in your life. Yeah. yeah. And oh, Frankie yeah. Boy and the Blues Express has, has become a bronze sponsor. Yay. Oh, Mickey McGuire, Harrison Fody. J&J &J Building. I don't and know remodeling. those. Excuse me, I just burped. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. J&J &J Building and Remodeling, which I don't know too much about yet, but we're going to learn about them. DPMS cool. Junk. DM, sorry, DMPS Junk Removal and Hallway yeah, Services. Yeah, these guys are great. They'll get rid of whatever you want. Yep, those are our bronze sponsors. We're going to move on. They don't do our, people, though, so you can't, you can't get rid of... Don't your ex-wife or your mother-in-law or your mom if you really have a hard time with her. None of that. Don't remove my junk. These They're are, nice people. These are our silver sponsors. Nicholas Thurston Marine, My Box, Tiki Hut Boats of New Hampshire, Lily Pond, Collision Auto, and uh, Marine Restoration, uh, Service Master Restore. Oh, these people are great. Brickfront Restaurant and Lounge and 603 Suites and more. Those are our silver sponsors. Well, fortunately, a lot of those people are, are patrons at the Tower Hill and the Big yeah. House and the Rec Yard. And uh, we're trying place. to give back to the community, and I just think we're, we're, we're all doing a great thing, and everybody needs a little action. Yeah. No, Especially gold. DJ Tim. Yeah. Hey, um, gold sponsors. We have gold sponsors. I'm a sponsor. DJ Tim is a gold sponsor. Yes. And we also have Tim's Truck Capital and Auto Sales, gold sponsor. He has Listen, a commercial. He has I, a commercial. I, I know Tim cool. personally, and yeah. I, he's a great man, and he will always take care of you at Tim's Truck Capital. Nice. He's, it's cool. He's got a new commercial. He's got, it's like 30 yeah, years of service. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Him and his, son, nice. his dad and his son are in it. Yeah. It was it's nice. really cool. Can I get a Wilkinson oh. Bean, 603 cremationscom is one of our sponsors. That can wait. Then cool. I like those people. They're cool. I saw I saw the owner last night. Yeah. And I gave my condolences. Is that funny? I mean, it's a. I know. Okay. Go so ahead. Diamond Shine Boat Detailing Silver oh, Sponsor. Oh God! I gave my Spooner. condolences for him too. No, that's Spooner. funny. Condol. He's uh, in the contest heavy. Like he wants to win this. I wanted him to be a to be a judge. I know he should have been a judge, but he yeah. wants he's in he wants to be a contest. He got a platinum ticket. He got a platinum. Yeah. Oh no, he hasn't got one yet. Oh, but he's a gold. <laughs> he's gold. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk our platinum sponsors here. Wait, wait. I still like how Spooner sings, man. He he, yeah. he represents the eighties really. Seventies and eighties were really good. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about the image and the look. Yeah, the, the, I mean, 
image and look. This is a great video of him last week. He All the girls there, talk about is his tight jeans. So I haven't looked, yeah. but I heard his jeans were pretty tight. I, I can't yeah, think He's a jean late. guy. He's saying big balls. Oh, God. He, yeah, he's saying big balls. He's he did jeans. good. He did good. Oh, jeez. He may, get a, he may get a platinum ticket. Hey, I don't know. I mean, you know. One, time you pulled one way or another. On stage. Okay, what's the next All right, we're going thing? to platinum, platinum sponsors. Oh, and then my goodness. So these are, our, these are our number one sponsors, number one you know, wow. level of sponsorship. Channel Waterfront Cottages. You say, oh, Channel One Waterfront Cottages. Yes. Channel Waterfront Cottages. Yeah, it was one of our most successful um, uh, fly arounds that we did. Jose and Stacy. Jose, yeah. Jose and Stacy do all the work at that place, and it's really kept. I mean, it's it probably one of the best places to stay up here. He yeah. takes care of you. I've seen the pictures. It, it, it's amazing. Yeah. I did a what fly a around view. on this island. It's fabulous. It's, just, it's cool. Lots, lots of stuff to do there. Uh, Tebow Heating and Cooling. I like these guys. Didn't they come out and help us out a little bit because yeah. we had some issues with uh, one on of the restaurants? Yeah, they came down. I like them. Heritage Home Service. They came down, too, because we had another issue. Yep, they did. And they were great. They, did, they are great. We, uh, we have a lot of properties here, and there's a lot of electrical stuff, and stuff just needs to be fixed all the time. Yeah. And then we have Nick Tamposi and family who sponsored Listen. our Diamond... Pool table. One of my new favorite. Diamond one of my favorite people, Nick Camposi. They have they have a history in the family with the Red Sox and all that stuff, and and they were in Florida and they did a bunch of stuff. And Nick's been just so cool taking care of our uh, what we're doing here. Yeah. And uh, he's he's a buddy of mine, and I like what he I like what he does for Motorcycle Week and Bike Timberfest, and I hope he keeps doing it. Thanks, Thanks. Nick. And thanks no. for the keyboard too. That's awesome. Yeah. Don't don't mention that because if he knows you said that, he's gonna come and take it. I want my back. keyboard back. I want I that keyboard. I forgot where it's I a left great, it. It's a great piece. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? I don't know. So uh, how's, how's the garden the going, Anthony? How's the garden going? Um, hey, everything's growing pretty good right now. I've been uh, I planted most mostly everything into the garden, and uh, it's all taken to the, the soil because it's all about the soil. Yeah. You have to you have to have the good dirt yes. to make your stuff grow. And um this uh this bike week we're gonna take some pictures out in the garden with a lot of the the uh the rally girls. We're gonna take pictures next to the sunflower which is yes. only a couple feet tall. Models. And then we're gonna take pictures again in September. When it's giant. When it's huge. I just can't believe we grew like a seventeen so foot sunflower. I know that was cool. Down. I was just like what I got a picture right here. Here it is. Oh you missed it the last show, uh, two shows ago. We and, uh, I don't know. We, we got, got that up there. All I can say is we got good dirt. Good dirt. Nice. We're growing so some other stuff. We too. are. Uh, if you just stick around for a little bit longer, I don't know if we're going to get. Are we going to get a special guest here? Make or sure no? we put the, I don't think we're going to get a special guest. So we're going to go with the news. We're going to do our news bit right now. Sure. I'm going to. I'll be back in a few minutes. I just need to freshen up. Okay. <laughs> Well, you go freshen up, Anthony. There you go, Anthony Syndicate, Syndicate. All right, here we go. We're gonna go do our our uh, little not news guilty. Here. Yeah, just, that's the first thing. So Trump, they're gonna try to put a president in jail. Why do they gonna ruin it for know. everybody? Come on. You know, when we were growing up, we were like, oh yeah, president can do anything they want. So you absurd. know, it's just a part of the whole thing. So what? Like, why do you gotta take the president out? Why you, you just gotta... made him a hundred times more popular. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but what are they going to do? Are they going to put him in jail and he's going to run the country from jail? Are you allowed to have the nuclear codes they, in jail? they got Wi-Fi in there now. Some of those people are angry in jail, man. You don't well, want the nuclear uh, codes around now. He can probably run for uh, you know, president in the clink. And does he get to vote if he's a felon? The mail-in. <laughs> <laughs> Only if he votes Democrat? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're really not. We're supposed to be, keep this he show still, apolitical because we have sponsors, vote. but... I don't know. It's a travesty bringing the president. If, if, even if you even if you want the guy convicted, no. you shouldn't be able to bring the president to jail. It's, it's, what a terrible thing. I mean, what's going to happen? No, Biden is going to go to jail. Why can't everybody be nice? Home? Just yeah. be like nice. Yeah, you got to go after everybody's kids and this, that, and the other thing. Like, why do you got to do this? Why? Why are we going to bring this down to this level? Yeah, I don't because know. we paid off a prostitute to shut her mouth. Oh God! Is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happened basically. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna. Like just go on to the next thing. I mean, we're going to the next thing. All right. Moving, moving right along. What, what's yeah. next? So, uh, have we talked about P. Diddy at all? Huh. You know, he's, he's in trouble. He had, like, a little sex ring going on. 
I don't no. want to get into all You don't get into that stuff? No. All right. Well, anyways, P. Diddy. P. That's Diddy, P. Diddy, P. Diddy, P. Diddy, P. Diddy. <laughs> I don't know. Let's stop that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next. Still moving right along. Moving right along. So next, what is interesting in the news right now? We have okay, California wildfire, wildfires. I mean, come on. Yeah, there's fires. There's like tornadoes every week. I mean, what's going on with that? Every time we turn the TV on, another tornado, another tornado, another tornado. Yeah, here we go. This is a, this is a, I was just looking at this as soon as you said that. This, here's why the U.S. has more tornadoes than any other country. Oh. You want to find that I out? I want to find out, That's yes. probably because something to do with McDonald's. That's why I'm asking. We get too many McDonald's. Okay, our food's ready. All right. Awesome. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. We, we like people. We like to share. Okay, so the U.S. averages over 1,105 uh, tornadoes every year. That's more than any other country. In fact, that's more than Canada, Australia, and all the European countries combined. Within the U.S. state, within the U.S., uh, every state has had at least one tornado, and some have had dozens each year. The U.S., in special terms of producing many tornadoes, especially violent ones, uh, let's see why. I want to know yeah, why. Some states are deadlier. Alabama's the deadliest, followed by Missouri, Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Florida. Those are the places you do not want to be. Fatality rates high in these places. Nocturnal, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now the, here we go. We're getting, they're getting into like... Uh, Cold air, warm air, dry air, warm Gulf air. They all meet over the United States, warming. over Alabama. And, you know, um, yeah. So Europe, every year, just has 250 tornadoes, and most of them aren't that violent. We have 1,150, and they're violent. Wow. Because have we have three different um, weather systems that meet over the United States, and they don't. Nobody else does. Everybody has a two. One in the book front, one in the one in the top. It sounds one like they're playing. We have them come from everywhere. Like, yeah, just they're just everywhere. pushing towards us. Towards I us. I think it's yeah. the weather balloons or spy balloons. Maybe. The Chinese spy balloons. Okay. So yeah, here we too. go. What else we got? We got our food? All right. Hey, you want to come up and be on our podcast? Yeah, you, wanna, you can come up for a second. Check this out. Come up and say hi. Yeah. Let's move out. Look at our bartenders over here. She's at the side. She's guy. taking care of us. We got right some uh, nachos, some of the Tower Hill nachos. Oh, yeah. Look we at that. Got some stuff. hot wings. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. It's fine. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Appreciate right. it. We got food. Stephanie, thank you, Stephanie. Thanks, Steph. I'm eating. Yeah, go for it. Just don't chew in the microphone. I don't want to hear it. Okay, and yeah. Once, it was once the most expensive album ever, and only a few people have heard it. Fans can finally get a chance to listen to the Wu Tang Clan's one copy album, but there's a catch. Only fans? No, Wu Tang. Fans only. Once Upon a Time in Shaolin is as mysterious as the title. Recorded by the legendary, legendary hip-hop group Wu-Tang Clan in secret over six years ago, only one physical copy of the album was ever made, and just a handful of people have ever heard it. Is this a big deal? One copy? Yeah. They, they recorded an album in secret, made one copy, and that's it. This is like Buster Rhymes and all those Method Man and all those other guys. Old Dirty ODB, never Old Dirty heard, Bastard. Never, never heard of it. Uh, do you want to hear it? Not right now. No, neither do I. Put a link up there. I right. we guess we could put a link. Yeah. So. Just make sure all of our band's logos and whatnot, the, the, the calendar yeah. for the 101 Bike Week is posted everywhere right now. Boom. Yeah. So we're having, uh, we finally have, our schedule this year finally has all the stages on it, and 
We have. Oh yeah, that's great, Jake. You did great with that. Google Stage Map. So you, it's a Google. Everything is on Google Maps. All the stages are on Google Maps. So if you look, search for the stage, that's where the band is. It, your phone will bring you right, and, to the, the, and stage. the bands can find the stage. Exactly. Because exactly. like, where are we Some playing? Some of them don't know. Some of them haven't played scan here before. Scan and play. Yeah, exactly. Boom. They scan a QR code. QR. You know, we're 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 no, we're, we're we're getting to that festival. Feel. That was great. Hey, well, well, yeah. Good job, Jerry. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. What else? Forty-six-year-old man injured in apparent shark attack in California. What? What do you mean? They need a parent. Like, it was a shark or it wasn't? Could it have been like a, maybe a grouper, a giant grouper? Ooh, why? Grouper. You should be sitting in a lawn chair at the pool, not hanging out in the ocean when yeah. you're 63. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, stay away from the sharks. When you're, if you're young, you could probably fight the shark off. Whatever. Or be on Shark Tank. That's fine. Yeah. Remember that? Shark Tank? Shark I remember tank. Shark Tank, yeah. Yeah, there really isn't much going on for news. We, for we that, basically talked about I'm it. I'm out. Yeah. We're done? The show's over? Shark Tank. Oh, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. All right, so um, I think we're done with uh, basically the show because um, I'm eyeing that food and I really want to eat it. it looks yeah, really good. Too. Tower Hill Tavern's got so. great food. So I think I don't think we're going to wait for Anthony to come back. I don't think we're getting any more guests. Yeah. Stephanie was enough. She was cool. She brought food. There might be an extended yeah. bonus clip. Yeah, we'll see. We'll put something in. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. All right, I'm going to shut things down. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.